What is cracking lacking, y'all? It's your girl Mimi. Thank you for tuning in to my Angel Tarot. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and get into it, yeah. <laughs> we want to see um, what is the energy surrounding you and your lover, the person that you clicked on this video for, okay? Please be sure to like and subscribe and also understand that <clears throat> all these readings may not resonate with you, okay? It's a lot of collectives that I read for. And this can resonate with any or everybody or all of y'all. Thank you so much for booking the personal readings. Y'all locked in for death, okay? Thank you so much for booking those motherfucking personal readings. Thank you for donating to the channel. Thank you so much for just being so fucking supportive. Like, I really do appreciate it, okay? <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and get into it, yeah. <laughs> if you go to church, get into it, yeah. If she ain't got a butt, fucking get into it, yeah. Uh, this song has been in my fucking head all day. And I ain't even listened to it today. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what's the energy surrounding you and your lover. For all of my lovers out there, okay? What the spirit wants to show us. I hope everybody is doing well. Y'all, I'm taking personal readings. I'm not stopping, okay? I'm not stopping for the holidays because first of all, I don't even celebrate Christmas like that. I mean, I do, but it ain't really important to me like that. So if y'all need some motherfucking readings, make sure you hit my email up, okay? Let me know. My, my phone number in there and everything. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. Pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags that have been coming out a lot lately in these readings. The signs are cautioning you. So maybe like your person isn't ready. Shit, what just fell on the floor? Uh, soulmate and romantic feelings. But y'all know I don't take the cards that fell up on the floor. But this is your soulmate. And this person does have romantic feelings for you. But there's still some red flags that you need to pay attention to. Regardless if this is your soulmate or not. You, you, you're just not going to accept anybody just because they're your, your soulmate. Like, if they on some bullshit, then don't do it. Very soon, clarity, no, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This reading, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. This reading reminds me of that last reading. Um, it says something about you're confusing the universe. So, yes, there are red flags when it comes to this person. This person is coming to you very soon. This is the one that you are meant to be with. So, whether or not this person has red flags or not, you know, like, you can either say fuck it or you can work on this person. You can help this person work on themselves. So, you need to make a clear decision right now <clears throat> so that this shit can happen you feel me like this is all about divine timing give your relationship a chance so spirit is definitely saying to give this relationship a chance yeah there are some red flags probably because your person you know did some bullshit in the past your person may have took you through some bullshit in the past but spirit is saying to give this relationship a chance you know so you know it's still up to you we all have free will Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So your person may be forgiving their parents for their, their childhood. You may be forgiving your parents for your childhood or your parents in general. It's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of fire in this connection with you and your person. So Spirit said that give your relationship a chance, but just pay attention to the red flags. If you want to you know, be that go-to person to help your person, you know, pretty much change, then you can do that. But don't put yourself into something that you know you ain't going to be able to handle, is all I'm saying. So let's see what the tarot got to say. The red flags may be your person holding on to, to some secrets, not wanting you to find out. So, yeah, your person probably got some secrets and shit that they're trying to hold on to themselves. Four of Cups and the Moon in Reverse again. 
so your person it's like they're just dealing with a certain situation right now because of the secrets that they don't want to come out your person may be dealing with a karmic that knows some secrets and your person is just staying with this person even though he don't want to be there he wants to move forward but he's staying because of those secrets thank you holy angels holy spirit show me what i need to see wow these secrets may be pertaining to some type of addiction sexual addiction drug addiction alcohol abuse lying stealing cheating this is some toxic ass energy your person may be in a toxic soul connection with a karmic or your person is in their karmic energy or you may be dealing with a fucking capricorn king of pentacles in the reverse so it's like someone is not abundant right now. Someone is struggling. Someone is attempting to create a world by doing toxic things. And you're not going to create abundance if you have ill intentions. You know, that's just impossible. Spirit is not going to allow you to create what it is that you want. But this person has a lot of love. So this person has a lot of love. But this person is unable to manifest because of their toxic ways, their ill intentions, their toxic addictions. Seven of Pentacles. This person is working on something. This person is planting seeds. This person loves you. This person probably wanted to plant seeds with you. To try to get you pregnant which may be one of those red flags that spirit was talking about yeah this person sees you as the ma magician this person wants to manifest with you this person is manifesting you a fucking child and that's just the truth this this person is coming in this person is coming in to probably tell you the truth of them secrets. And those secrets may be this person want to trap you with a baby. Because you know how to, to manifest. You know how to make things grow. You're sitting here with one pinnacle, one sword, one cup, and one wand. You have earth, air, fire, and water. You embody all four elements. And that person likes that about you. You're like... And then the king of swords in, in the reverse. This person is definitely, they got some ill intentions with the king of pentacles in the reverse and the king of swords in the reverse with the devil. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? Pay attention to the red flags. Queen of pentacles. See, you're showing up as the queen of pentacles. The magician and the queen of pentacles. So this person definitely wants to come and build with you because you know how to manifest. You know how to make things grow. You know how to make money. This person doesn't want to feel left out in the cold no more. So you probably not fucking with this person right now because of their ill intentions. King of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse. So this has, wow, this is so crazy. Your person is dealing with a queen of wands in reverse. All of your person's passion is going towards this queen of wands in a reverse. But this person doesn't want anything but sex from your person. And your person is indulging in its toxicity with this queen of wands in reverse. It's like your person wants to get away from this queen of wands in reverse and come towards the ten of pentacles, which is with you, abundance, ge generational abundance. Because your person's definitely dealing with a karmic. But also, this could be telling me that, that your, your person is dealing with a karmic that he have a home and a family with. Your person got a lot of toxic options. 
or your person is releasing all of these options because your person don't want to be left out in the cold no more. Nothing is working over there. That Ten of Pentacles, yes, your, your person do have a family with this person, but it's stressing your person out. This is not making your person happy at all. Five of Cups, he regrets walking away from you. He regrets what it is that he did to you, what he said to you. And he's coming in to bring in judgment because your person has no strength right now. Your person has no strength. It's like your person doesn't know where to go, where to turn. Your person is not happy with the sun in the reverse. Ten of Wands. Your person is ready to drop all of these burdens, all these toxic burdens. He's taking his passion away from this Queen of Wands. The only thing that's there is sex. It's nothing else. Because the love that he had is for you. And he wants to come and bring you this love offer. That's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, let's go ahead and get some uh, Wisdom Oracle. I ain't going to take too long on this. me what I need to see there. Thank you. To be fair in the reverse. By the book. Chop wood. Truth be told in the reverse. Your person is holding on to some truth. Your person is keeping himself in this situation to be fair to this queen of wands in the reverse which is pretty much like make, making your person miserable but they're ready to go ahead and like do things the right way and chop this shit the fuck off because if it's not making you happy you need to walk away from it Conclusions are within reach. A new romantic cycle begins. Luck is on your side. Have faith in your dreams. So there you have it, y'all. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, I am taking personal readings. Talk to you later. Peace.